Okay, we're back in Matrix Gold again. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started. We're just going to make a micro pave uh, ring, uh, just a band, all parametric, all dynamic. Everything will be able to work, uh, so you can change sizes real easy. Uh, but this is uh, very easy to do. Uh, if you think of it as a four-step process, uh, it's it's probably the best way to think about it. So. As we go, just think of four steps, okay? So uh, the first thing we want to do, of course, get the ring, get it all ready. So we'll go ahead and grab our ring, put a ring rail on it. And I'm going to drag it to the bottom. I like my seam being at the bottom, and usually where that starts at will be your seam. So uh, I'll go ahead and change the profile here. Go to my favorite, select it. And uh, what we'll do is we'll manipulate this. We'll just take it to a, uh, leave it at the two, and over here we'll just drag it into a two as well. Hold down shift and it'll lock them in at the, the halves. So, okay. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and accept that. And we'll do a sweep real quick. Uh, sweep one. Take that, that, and hit enter. And we'll hit enter again. So there's our ring right there. Next thing, of course, we have to do is grab a uh, ISO curve and get our center of our ring. So we'll grab our ISO curve, select our ring, and did it place it? Oh, I was going to say, right in the middle? No way. <laughs> uh, and we'll get it at a 0.5, right in the middle, and hit enter. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is grab that rail and go ahead and put our stones on there. So we'll go to gems, uh, on curve, gems on curve and we'll get our uh, stones kind of in place. Uh, let's right click on that and we'll drag our in position over to this side. I'll just take them. I, I think you've probably seen some that go like uh, all the way around. I, I, as a craftsman I can't say that's probably a, a really good thing uh, because uh, wear and tear on those micro prongs will be uh, pretty tough I think. You'll be doing a lot of repair work uh, over time. Uh, I'm not a real big micro pave person anyway but it's it's in style right now so hey you know it is what it is. Uh, and then we want to uh, grab uh, the stones and drag them pretty much right there so they're right on that filling up that total rail there. And you, you want a little bit extra space in the middle you don't want them too close together. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it at the default. It looks like it looks like it's okay. Yeah. All right. And then of course we want to drop them down into place. So gym placement uh, table. All right. And then hit enter. We'll click on our screen and then hit enter. Uh, accept that command. And then next thing we want to do is go to our cutters, and we want to go to uh, micro prong cutters, and I'll slap those puppies out there. Uh, I'm going to change that to a uh, little bit different uh, style. I'm going to go with a little rounded, uh, but you have uh, tons you can choose from. <laughs> uh, maybe you don't have all those, but there you can take a look and maybe design your own cutters through there. There's a lot of them there. Uh, give you a little hint of what you could make uh, for cutters. All right, uh, we'll move on. Uh, so I'll select, select that and uh, we'll go to this menu here and we'll change it to wireframe so we can get a good look at it. First thing you want to do probably is go ahead and get the, the top done. And you want to maybe maybe 90, 95 percent of the table you can probably cover up. It's probably okay. Uh, so I'm going to go around that area there, kind of cover it up. And I'll go ahead and drag them out just a little bit. And actually, what that will, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, well, I'm in perspective. Um, click on some cover here. Yeah, there we go. And I'll drag them out a little bit more, actually. All right, so there's that. Cutter position looks okay. Let's take another look at that real quick before we get move on the next step. Yeah, okay, this step here. Uh, we want to, this is the first step, uh, cutting the width out, I guess you would say. And it's, uh, let's drag them in 
maybe a little bit more give it a little bit extra prong there there we go uh, and then we want to uh, I usually drag it up to go to a front view it's probably easier uh, drag them up just so that it the cuts under the girdle so like around here is kind of my thing uh, and if you look at it, it actually uh, bent the, the cutters. So now they, they cu will cut down further on this side and not so much in the center there. Uh, but that's kind of how I, I would do them. But, you know, there's no right or wrong way there, however you, you want them. Bend them out. And I'm going to drag this up and bring that bend amount down somewhere around there should be okay and then I'll go ahead and hit enter we can always since it's going to be dynamic and parametric we can always go back and redo it so next thing I'm going to do is uh, well go back to my gym cutter select my stones again and uh, between gyms off I want them on okay and now we want to go between the stones so we'll drag this uh, start percentage drag it in between the stones and then we're going to I like to have them around the same height as my or yeah same height as my uh, cutters here so I'm going to drag them up just slightly so they're around that same curvature and maybe there, something like that. And we'll go ahead and hit enter. That's the second step. Third step will be uh, our uh, channel. So we'll go ahead and switch that to, I'm going to switch it to a uh, flat. And then I'm going to drag it just a little bit. And of course, it's cutting way out there, and we don't want that. We want our prong. So again, around the the uh, table of the stone you want that's kind of what your guideline is and then pr uh, front view we definitely need to drag that up around the same edge as our cutters something like that should be fine all right and then that's the third step and I'll hit enter now the fourth step is one we, we do on every all the stones for the most part is uh, gem cutters. Okay, and on these what I like to do is uh, I don't like my prongs cut and since this is going to be a one piece thing they, they will be cut if I don't do some manipulation here. So first thing I'm going to do is take that thickness down to nothing uh, for the most part and then my uh, table I'm going to drag it in so that it's not really going to be cutting and if it does not very much of that uh, seat for the stones and then I'm going to go back and readjust uh, the height of the the base there make it a little bit wider and take a look at that and that should be okay and okay so that was our four, four steps so our first step was to get the ones going across here uh, this group our second step was the middle ones. Our third step was the uh, channel cutter. And then our fourth was the prongs. Okay, so this should give us what we want. Let's give that some time. Okay, so something it's looking something like that. Uh, and now let's just go ahead and start doing bullions. Bullion difference. We're just going to do each one individually just so we can kind of see how it comes out. And if we need to make adjustments, do it then. Uh, so we hit that and we'll take our first step one there and cut those. Okay, we'll take a look. Hide the. I could have gone a little bit more, looks like. But we'll leave it for there because we can definitely go back and adjust it for now. Uh, all right, and then we'll do another cutter uh, from here. Our step twos, our mids. Give it a second. Select segment, okay. Okay, let's back out. Select our ring, enter, our mids, enter. 
Okay, and let's go ahead and hide that and see what we got now. All right. Yeah, okay. Uh, turn those back on, and then we'll do our third process, which is our uh, channel. And we'll hit enter. Nope, did it again. All right. Ring, enter, channel, enter. All right. Yeah, there we go. All right, and now last step would be to do the uh, gem cutters. So we'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and accept that. We'll take a right click, uh, and we'll click on our ring, enter, and then our ch channel gem cutters, and wait. And there we go. Oh, what happened there? What what are you doing there? What happened there? That is very interesting. Okay, so let's go back. See what happened here. That is like wow. All right, let's go back again. All right, let's try this one more time. Let's do our gym cutters first. Okay, we'll go here. Hit enter, and then we'll take our gym cutter. Enter. There we go. I wonder what happened there. And then last one, we'll take our ring and give it a second. And there we go. There's a little micro pave. Oop, what happened there? Boy, some crazy stuff's going on tonight. Uh, let's complete that command. All right. Let's change it to Matrix Gold or Matrix Classic and let's click on here and there we go. Plastic. There's a little micro pave ring for you. And it's fully parametric and dynamic. So you can go back and change anything, add more stones, add more cut, uh, change the cutters around, do a little manipulation. Uh, make some different adjustments in there. So if we go back to our ring rail, hit edit and say uh, we have a l uh, larger lady coming in and you want a size 11, you can just click on that and just give it some time to update. Boom, there's a size 11. Everything's taken care of for you. And if you know uh, they want to change the ring size now down to a size 5, salesperson wrote the wrong measurements down, of course, and size 5, and just give it a second. And now we have a size 5, so it's fully parametric. You can change it to, what's going on there? Why did that not cut? Okay, well, had some issues going on with this one. Let's go back. Back. Oh, now it's not there. Huh. Did you guys see that, or am I uh, hallucinating here? <laughs> there was a bar on a couple of them. I don't know. Kind of strange. But uh, there you go. I hope this is kind of interesting for you. And just uh, a f just if you think of microprave as a four-step process, uh, it'll it'll kind of make it easier to go along and uh, do this kind of work. So uh, uh, there you go. I hope you liked it. Uh, if the video helped you, please leave a like, subscribe, and uh, a comment below. Really appreciate it. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, good designing.